close your eyes with me for a moment and listen. Beep. 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 It's the rhythmic beeping of hospital machines and the backdrop to what has been primarily most of my life. Trying to understand why at every turn I seem to be taking up residence in a hospital room and listening to that little timber of the, the humming of the machines, the antiseptic scent of the room. All of these things for some may seem to present a level of uncertainty, a level of fear, and a level of anxiety. But for me, it pretty much was like the soundtrack to my life. And something that I've had to learn to embrace, how do you go into your day-to-day -day realizing when you wake up in the morning, if you're able to get out of bed, if, because most times I wasn't able to, I was incapacitated or I would slide out the bed. I would have to drag myself to the bathroom, drag myself to the kitchen. And if I made it to the kitchen, I'd probably just lay on the floor and just sleep because the pain was so searing. The pain was just never ending, day in, day out, 24 seven. Living with a chronic illness, is no fun. These hospital stays kind of did a pivot for me. They ended up being classrooms, an unexpected classroom where I had to learn how to be resilient, learn the power of self-advocacy, and understand the wisdom of living holistically for myself to make sure that I was taking care of myself, that I secured my oxygen mask first before anybody else. And my field is public health and women's health primarily and health equity and but understanding how health inequities affect how we receive care and then also the unspoken cultural norms that impact how we receive care, how we talk about care, how we bring our families and how we engage with physicians to get the care that we need. So, so I help women figure out how they can create their own sacred space to heal, to vent, to cry, to recreate and reinvent themselves after they've gone through whatever traumatic experiences they may be going through. They're still there. There's different little moments they pop up and I still have my days where the pain is unbearable. But I push through and I'm just happy I don't look like what I've been through. So make sure you're taking care of yourself, advocate for yourself, understand your resilience, and make sure you give yourself grace for the wisdom that you've gained for all that you have gone through.